Hey, 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 Joyce Marino Knight here. How are you doing? Now, lots of entrepreneurs face this particular issue, and it's an, the underlying reason that a whole lot of people quit before they even get the result that they want from their business. And when considering why they failed and why they quit, they tell themselves all kinds of nonsensical things about it, like the fact that they weren't good enough and like they're not cut out for business and all of that kind of nonsense, when really their focus was just not on the, the right thing, basically. Th their focus was on the wrong thing all of the time. They were doing all the things that they were less scared of instead of doing the things that had to be done, which did scare them. And do you know what that one big obstacle is? The one big obstacle that really gets in the way of entrepreneurs, it is that they don't have an engaged audience, okay? Now, I know that you know this. I know that you know that you need it, okay? And yet, you really don't understand the importance of it because if you did, you wouldn't spend all that time trying to make your website look a little bit pretty, make your, your business card kind of stand out. Who cares about that stuff? Nobody's going to look at your business card and actually decide that they love you. No, they're not. They're going to listen to you. They're going to hear your words. They're going to read what you have to say. They're going to watch you and they're going to decide, okay, yeah, this person is for me or this person is not. That's it. So when I say an engaged audience, how are you building yours? You think that your, your nice, lovely, pretty website is going to make all the difference for them. I'm sorry to tell you that it probably will not. Okay. And I did this for a long time as well. You know, I did the whole navel gazing thing, wondering why people didn't buy from me instead of just focusing, focusing simply on consistently showing up as who I am to gain the audience of people who actually get me. You know, I'd spend lots of time refining my products or refining my website or starting again from scratch because of course that didn't work. So let's try something completely different and new and <laughs> wondering how I can get people to pay me money <laughs> to do what I wanted to do. So I'd refine the prices of my offerings because maybe it's too expensive or maybe it's too cheap or maybe it's somewhere in the middle. Who really knows? I'd refine all the finer points of my business that no one actually got to see because they weren't actually coming that deep into my business at all. So who cared about that? But for me, it was easier to do that stuff, wasn't it? Because I was less scared of that stuff. I didn't have to face anybody when doing that stuff. I could just pretend that I was working hard, but really not doing the important stuff. Stuff. This is the thing, nobody needs you to be a genius to, at what you do, but if you don't stand out as you, then all you have to compete on is actually price and yeah, maybe the color of your site. But frankly, how are you going to figure out whether somebody likes it or not if nobody's telling you one way or the other as to whether they like the color or not? Okay, it's so subjective, those things that you spend so much time trying to prettify and people tell you that's how you need to brand yourself and it's just such a waste of time. It really, really is. What if people actually bought from you because of the experience of working with you? What if people bought from you because they actually liked you? But how can they do that if you're hiding away doing all this hidden stuff that doesn't that don't demand that you show up? The thing that you can get anybody else to do, that, that's the stuff that you're spending all your time on. Can you see why you're potentially not making the money that you would like to be making in your business? You need to concentrate everything, especially if you're just starting out, everything on building that audience, building that engaged audience. That is where all of your time should be spent, okay? You have, as long as you have a sufficient enough product out there that somebody can buy from you, that's it. You don't need much more than that. And after that, they can tell you what they want to buy next or whatever it is that you want to do, then you can build out your business. But to start with, you need that engaged audience. How can you do this? You can use video just like I'm doing right here. You can, because yes, people can see me. They can see how I get when I'm, you know, animated. <laughs> And sometimes you'll see how I get when I'm not animated and I'm just kind of, hmm, ultimately. So yeah, people get to see me. They also get to hear what I'm saying to them, okay? So that helps with the connection factor. Of course, then you can go and put those videos on YouTube. You can do a live thing on Periscope, which I'm going to do immediately after this. Um, <laughs> you can even do a live streaming on Facebook these days if you can get yourself verified, okay? Um, so yes, videos can be used and you can just upload your recorded videos just like this one onto Facebook. And, and for whatever reason, Facebook at the moment is really wanting people to use videos more and it does really help because especially if you're in an online world like this that we're in a lot of the time people are not meeting each other in a room or anything like that so therefore the fact that they can see you they can see what you're doing with your hands they can see how your face moves and they can hear your voice coming through to them it makes such a huge difference to how connected with you they feel so video is a great way of building an engaged audience Next thing is text. I love to write. Love to write. I've been writing since maybe I was a teenager 
little or even before that probably and yeah in fact before that because I remember my parents saying but you can't make money from that so I kind of tried to put it down but I did write a few plays and all this kind of stuff all the way through school but I've liked writing and a lot of people in my world do like writing as well but for whatever reason as well for the same probably the same reasons as I did um, they think oh well I can't really make any money off it I can't really do anything with it or I have to write a certain way and that's kind of boring to me uh, or, oh my gosh, I can't really show up. So it comes up to the whole showing up thing. I'm a bit worried that if they present themselves as they are, nobody will want to read what they have to say. But again, you cannot be the best judge of that. And you do want to present yourself as you are. You want to write how you would write, <laughs> basically, instead of trying to write how you think some gurus should write. Just write the way you write. Do blogging. Do your Facebook updates or social media updates generally. Write books. So these days, you can literally put your blog post together and create a book. Just add it, make it like a book, you know? <laughs> make it something that you're proud of. But please don't judge yourself so harshly that you never get anything out there. There's so much you can do with text. So use it. You don't have to be super professional in the way you're, you're putting yourself out there. People want to connect with people. Please remember that. People want to connect with people. I forget that all the time, you know? So, <laughs> so I get it. It's easy to forget, but try to remember that you're not writing. You're not writing for some kind of a robot who, just because you wrote these certain words in this certain way, then they're going to suddenly press the buy button because, oh my gosh, you have manipulated me sufficiently that I must buy in this way. It's not going to work. You are going to get a lot of words out there. You're going to connect with some people and some people are going to hate you. That's absolutely fine. Let that be it. But you show up every day through your words, through video, like I've mentioned. Yeah, you can do audio as well. That's something else you can do. Social media. Social media, we live in a time where social media really is such a blessing to entrepreneurs. We don't always see it as a blessing because it can also be a distraction. Okay? But it is such a blessing because you can actually connect with people in groups. I mean, forums was a thing before there were social media groups. But you can even now, there are still forums. So same principle forums, groups, whatever, where people have willingly decided to put themselves out there for a particular reason. And if that particular reason is something that you help people with, why are you not there? <laughs> okay? Why are you not there making connections with people, engaging an audience who is like, hmm, this person sounds interesting. Let me come see what they're up to. And then they go and search you. And you don't always, okay, yes, I would always say that you should have some kind of a call to action and everything that you do. But you know what? You don't always have to. If you get enough people's interest in just you because you are being you, guess what? They will go and find out what you're up to. When last did you buy something from somebody or a company without going to search what their social media profile looked like or what they were showing up as on the internet? Now, I search everyone and everything. That's where I go first. And that's the same with people. They will go and look for you online. They will go and find out what you're up to and all of this kind of stuff. So you just keep showing up and people go look for you. So social media is a great place to show up. Use it and such, it can be free. <laughs> It can be free if you kind of, you really just keep putting yourself out there and you can therefore get a free engaged audience. But yes, of course, social media also allows you to pay to play and paying to play is a great way to go as well. But I wouldn't always just, just only do that. I would do all the stuff that I've mentioned already because you can pay for someone to click on something that looks kind of interesting. But if there's nothing, it's like, as I already said, people are looking to see what you're about. But if there's nothing that you're about, you have no blog posts, you have no videos, you have nothing, you have no Facebook presence, nothing except this advert, this person has clicked and they're thinking, I don't really know whether I can trust this person. They click away. Hey, that's it done where's your content the things that you've put out there will help people think oh well actually this person might have something about them so <laughs> let me stick around and find out more and so yeah every so often you know you find people that kind of come onto your blog and they stay there and they're just reading this and reading that and reading the other and it's because there's something for them to get really stuck into. So you've paid the money for them to come and find you in the first place. But once they find you, they're now getting deeper and deeper and deeper into your world. They're, um, you're inviting them to take, um, to take, take, take advantage of your free giveaway, which of course you have one, don't you? And then you are offering them your product. If it's only the one product, you're offering them that product over and over and over again, because now they're starting to trust you. They've seen you. They've heard you, they've read you, and they can hear your voice in their head, they're more likely to buy from you. So you need that engaged audience, okay? You need that engaged audience. I cannot say this enough. You need that engaged audience. And to get that engaged audience, you have to show up. And as my coach was telling me, <laughs> I have to turn the light up, you know, take off the whole dimmer switch thing that you're doing because you feel you have to tone yourself down. Be you boldly, woohoo, okay? So build that audience as soon as it's possible. And hey, 
right now, right now, as I'm doing this video, it depends on when you watch it, but as I'm doing this video right now, there is an absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing reason for you to join the Deliberate Millionaire. If you are someone who knows that you are ready to get all the customers, the clients, the, the recruits that you need for your business, but then even beyond that, you also want to be doing it in a way that makes you feel absolutely amazing about the work that you're doing, then you need to come and join the Deliberate Millionaire because for the first 28 days with us, you get it for $4.95, $4.95, which is about three pounds, you know. But, you know, okay, whether you do it for the money or you do it <laughs> because the money is so cheap, you may as well come and try it out and see what's in there. But even, the, the thing about being in there is that you are with other people doing exactly the same stuff that you're doing. And so we're all going forward together. We're going to be starting a Science of Getting Rich challenge in the, in the next week or so. We're also, because we want to make sure our heads are in the right place and we're attracting wealth into ourselves. Don't, don't, don't you agree with that? Basically, we're going, you're going to get, get in business training as well, all the marketing, promotion, all that kind of stuff that you need is all delivered to you weekly in your inbox as part of the Deliberate Millionaire. You get to be with the awesome myself <laughs> in there and ask any questions you have about building your business and taking it to the next level. So honey, why are you not already with us? Are you a deliberate millionaire? In fact, I did a whole video about this, about being a deliberate millionaire. You need to be one, okay? You need to be very deliberately creating your millions, okay? 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 So to find out more about this, you pop over to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash DM for step up group. Each of those words has a hyphen in it. I know, I don't make it easy. I will make sure that the link is <laughs> is with the video wherever it goes or the audio or whatever it is that you're listening to. Um, so it is rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash DM hyphen four hyphen step hyphen up hyphen group. That's it. <laughs> you can do this. Okay. It's been a pleasure speaking with you and I look forward to seeing you in the DM. And if you're not quite ready to move into the DM, you need, just need to go to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash five customers, five the numbers, the number, um, and then you can grab my free report, free, free blueprint about how to get your next five customers, clients, recruits. It's been a pleasure. It's time to fight for to create the life, the business you want because you can. Okay? Bye.